Welcome to Six Pack Philosophy, where we take philosophy, mix it with beer, and apply it to the questions you deal with every day. <laughs> Welcome to s- <laughs> This is going to be a good one. Welcome to Six Pack Philosophy. I'm Anastasia here with Mike and John, and this week we're getting culty with some arsenic dosed beer. By the way, guys, I didn't tell you all about that, did I? Arsenic dosed beer. Yes, no. Out- outstanding, no. outstanding. Not, not really, probably. But before we get started, what are we drinking? We're drinking Freaky Dinky, Belgian Triple, <laughs> suspiciously. <laughs> and we're going to get sued by the Oak Highlands Brewery for saying that, that it's arsenic. Uh, oh, no, uh, I was saying I dosed it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> this is a, uh, a 10% ABV, and this is from Dallas, Texas. Nice. So about cults. About cults. <clears throat> so this, this is actually a show that we've been <clears throat> kind of batting back and forth on doing for a while. And we're, you know, finally, you know, sitting down and doing it. Uh, cults are a rather fascinating uh, thing to me because they seem to both embody the worst of our psyche and culture while simultaneously seeming very familiar to the best of it, or at least what many people perceive to be the best in our culture. And uh, it's fascinating to me where we draw these distinctions, and even the very way in which we look at cults, I think we'll maybe find later, may be a bit cultish itself. Um, So it's it's really interesting part of our nature. Okay, are we using... uh, I'm just... uh the historian in me has to ask for you. Are we using the, the, the kind of modern idea of a cult, or are we just saying cult as a religious we're not belief? Using, yeah, we're not using cult in the sense that we did in the Jesus and Mithra yeah. episode, okay. as far as I know. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're using it in a much more modern sense. I actually okay. have some definitions okay. here. They vary, and, and it's going to be important to, to talk about which one we're going to go with, uh, but it, I think the differences are interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So this one uh, was obtained with just a quick Google search of definition of cult. And it says, a system of religious venerations and devotion directed toward a particular figure object. Okay. Seems pretty broad. I mean, that could be a lot of things. Next, we have a cult is a new religious movement whose beliefs don't conform to cultural norms. Now... That second one is the one that we're going to deal with the most here, right? Well, you know, there's even, to me, something interesting about that because it requires in both definitions that it be religious in nature. And that really kind of begs the question to me of what makes something religious. Yeah, yeah. Could a you, hard term to define. Yeah, could you talk about, let's say, certain political groups uh, 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 worshiping of let's say, a universal healthcare system or maybe building a wall. Could that be religious in nature? Well, or I've said for a long time that, that, that statism is a religion, uh, and, and I think that it would meet that definition. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and I actually, there, there's, I, I want to talk about uh, statism particularly um, here, in, here in a little bit. But yeah, so there's some interesting questions there. If, if you're going to isolate this to religion, what exactly is religion there's also an interesting question to me when you when you talk about it being religious in that in this country religion has very special and particular protection in our laws and so if we're saying it's religious does that then give those cults that same protective barrier because this is this is normally a pejorative term it, it's it's not something we say nicely about things yeah you know? in, in the modern parlance cult has got a very negative uh, uh, feel to it um, yeah. you know traditionally it doesn't yeah right so so th- those are interesting to me something else in the second de- definition it says a cult is a new religious movement whose beliefs don't conform to cultural norms and so my the thing that kind of shocked me like slapped me in the face when i read that is that it's new so does that mean a cult no matter how evil or weird or whatever can age out of being a cult and age into being a religion well i think it, 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 it almost would have to by that second definition because of social norms. If, yeah. if, as something ages, I think it becomes more societally acceptable. Well, I think we can we can look at some things that are, are well, 
uh, there are some religions that I think that we can look at that have been around for a while, but are not being accepted by social norms. They're still violating social norms. Um, yeah, and, and yeah. so they they are still in well, cult status. And, and, and then then there's the question of can you be a a cult in one place and a religion in another? Yeah, I mean let's let's look yeah. at, at at Mormon uh, uh, norms of of um, uh, uh, what's called po- poly polygamy. Some, polygamy. That's the word. Yeah, yeah of polygamy, that's like that. traditional Mormon, not modern. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But that's, and that's very a much a outside of a cult. cult. Uh, of, of or, a co- what? Sorry, that's a legal religion. Yeah, that's very much outside of cultural norms, but it's an older thing, and we consider it a religion. So it it, it does seem that in the way we treat this, you can have a cult and nothing changes. About it, except for it just aged, well, and all of a sudden it's a religion. And also, you've got the fact that that, that just in, in our language, how many times have you heard people refer to Islam as a cult instead of a religion? Mm-hmm. It's you know, it's the 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 largest religion in the world right now. Well, and is that is that an argument about their practices, or is that an argument about their age? Because they are you know on the global scale of a, a younger religion. Well, younger than younger than Judaism, not a whole lot younger, younger than Christianity, but yeah, 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 younger than Christianity. Well, that's true. That's true. That's uh, that, that that is a very fair. Been point. around for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, uh, probably not an argument about the yeah, age yeah. then. Um, so, but anyway, so those <coughs> those pieces there were were really interesting to me in trying to like to 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 put hands around what this idea is uh there were uh, in my research a couple of commonalities that i came across so i'm, I'm going to read kind of two lists one's much shorter than the other one uh one is just a list of like different features i was noticing seeing repeated in these things um and then i want to go to a list that was made by somebody who has a phd and did a, i guess a dissertation or something on this phd and this, huh yeah you know that stands for piled higher and deeper right yeah, it is. It is. Well, and this list is, is very deep. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. Um, so mine is, uh, we see a lot of times with cults that if you leave them, you're excommunicated. Okay. Which which is interesting to me because I see that same behavior. And, and, and uh, there's a few of these where there's an honorable way to leave. Uh, you don't see that so much in cults, but I see the same behavior in uh, um, gangs. Yeah. I see the same behavior in citizenship. Yeah. And to some degree that like I said, there are good ways to leave, but military. Yeah. If uh, you go a wall yeah, and politics. Know. Yeah. Politics. Uh, yeah. think about think about the, uh, the 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 person that that abandons one party for another and he's just uh yeah, you know, he's excommunicated yeah. by the troop. Last week he was your hero and this week week he's the villain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, and, and we don't consider those cults, but they, they do seem to share at least that behavior, uh, isolation from non-members. Uh, it seems important that they, uh, really saturate themselves in the other members and, and, and kind of build what we would call today an echo chamber. Yeah. Um, uh, again, uh, if you've ever been to a political rally, oh yeah. my God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, other groups are liars. <laughs> I'm sorry that that that's that echo chamber and saturate. Uh, it, is, is Facebook a cult? Um, or is it is it a maybe a a platform for cults? Yeah, I mean because it, it it's very easy it's very easy to uh, to saturate yourself by by uh, people that that believe only as you believe. Yeah. Social media is changing the way that people or that cults operate. Oh sure, sure. Yeah. Changing the way everything operates. Yeah, I, yeah. I was about to follow them back. So other groups are liars. If if yeah. if it's not part of your group, if they're saying some other than your group, they're liars. Yes, it's fake news. Yes. Um, there is a us versus them mentality. Everyone else is the evil people. They're coming to get you, uh, Waco. I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the Branch Davidians. Yeah, I mean, we can argue over who was the wrong party in that with the government, but part of what made that that such a a, a kindling box to, to ignite was that their leader had been telling them for years, people are going to come and take your guns, and this is going to be the beginning of the end. And and I think they believed it, but it wasn't real to them until the government actually showed up yeah, to take yeah. their guns. And they're like, oh shit, this is what we've been being told about. They kind of fulfilled the prophecy yeah. that they've been being told. So, uh, But everyone else is out to get them. Uh, and it requires a leap of faith. 
So the, they'll explain their whole system to you. Uh, I think a great example of this is Scientology, right? Yeah. So they can explain their uh, diuretics. and <laughs> Diuretics. They, I'm going to call it that. I don't care. It is d- diuretics. Go read if the book. If you want to look it up, it's the title of the book is Dianetics. No, it's diuretics. <laughs> uh, but but they'll explain the diuretics to you, and they'll explain how this is going to make you a better person, and they'll link all the pieces together uh, and even eventually get to how aliens arrived on Earth and human souls were in a walk. They'll, they'll get all that linked together. But then you have to make the leap of faith that the first thing they said that aliens came to Earth just happened. Like, there, there there's at some point a leap of faith. And questioning that is 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 sinful in, in, in the cult. Yeah, I don't I don't know about the term sinful because sometimes it's right. it, you know, that, that that brings a, religious a, a different term, idea, yeah. but but questioning it is dangerous or yeah, wrong yeah. in some way, because uh, I think about um, you know, flat earthers. Yeah, you know they, they they fall into a lot of this. I think about evolution, yeah. and uh, you know uh, if if you're an evolutionist, you know you and, and 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 I am. I do believe in evolution, but you still have to believe in some magical first step. You still have to believe something happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, black dark matter, or yeah. or you know whatever. Yeah. Well, and like and and referencing back to Scientology, um, their whole thing is when they start coming in, um, it's all about improving yourself and the way you operate, but also like being a healthier person for the purpose of living a longer life uh, in the body that you have, and so that's actually where they. Um, they kind of turn the screws there of if you're questioning this, then you are sick, you're ill, and you're not going to be able to purge yourself of the dirtiness until you give in and just believe it. Yeah. So that was kind of the things I've observed. Uh, before we go to the PhD, are you a cult checklist? Is there anything else that y'all want to add that, that you think should go in our, our little list of cult observations, uh, you know, in their practices? I can't think of anything. It sounds pretty uh, pretty straightforward to me so far. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, I have a checklist here. Who did you say yours is by? It's the same one. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, okay. So, anyway, uh, so the checklist. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the first one, oh. the group displays excessive excessively zealous and unquestioning commitment to its leader and whether he is alive or dead regardless of his belief system ideology and practices at as the truth as law so uh they they follow a leader yeah and it doesn't it, 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 they could be dead Can often we, are yeah often are um, the infallible word you might say yes of somebody from years ago or, or or somebody that's that's you know from now yeah you know Kim Jong Il was the leader of Korea yeah and and you know he was still alive and, and and the infallible leader yeah well and there are a number of cults where their leader their founder is yeah. that it, person it, in most cases the cult develops after the death of the person but but you know it's uh, you know you you deify somebody afterwards in most cases although not. <laughs> By any stretch, all well. Um, the '90s seemed to s- seemed to have kind of a uh, a surge of new age healing type cults, um, where you would have some like crystals, y- crystals, some yoga guru, some actually. I mean, all of the the new age enlightenment that was like really big then. Yeah, yeah. And you would start. Taking a yoga class. Yeah, the 90s or, were the 60s all over again. Well, <laughs> but, um, and so it would be just this, this, you know, 40 year old dude with long hair and dreads in his beard. Yoga Ken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and, you know, he is the guru and knows all the shit. And so you cannot go against him because you're not the guru. Yeah. And my next, my next career is going to be guru. So next, uh, is that what this has been preparing you for? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly building up my my followers here. Um, very slowly. Very very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. Right now it's me. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Next John. item is uh, on the checklist is questioning, doubt, and dissent are discouraged or even punished. Yeah. Yeah. 
Next, we have mind-altering practices such as meditation, chanting, speaking in tongues, uh, denucleation sessions, and deliberating, uh, debilitating work routines are used in exercise and serve to suppress doubt about the group and its leaders. Yeah, it's all about building group think. <clears throat> yep. Uh, the leadership dictates sometimes in great detail how members should think, act, and feel. For example, members must get permission to date, change jobs, marry, or leaders prescribe what types of clothes to wear, where to live, whether or not to have children, how to discipline children, and so forth and so on. So, for instance, they could have a list of, of rules that you have to follow. I don't know, maybe 10 of them. Yeah. And and, and if you didn't follow them, that you would uh, have some problems? It could be hundreds of them, and we only and we pay attention to down to 10 basic ones yes um so next uh the group is elitist claiming a special exalted status for itself its leader and members for example the leader is considered the messiah a special being an avatar or the group and or the leader is on special mission to save humanity at all do do these people often wear red baseball caps um sometimes 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 i was just i was Um, curious If that was a thing or not. I learned about this cult here a little while back. And I I am going to uh, assign to and make a request of our listeners to look up which cult it is that I'm talking about. Because I can't remember it right now. And I don't even know what I would Google for it right now. But um, (laughs) so it was this dude who was institutionalized for serious mental problems. And this nurse at the place he was institutionalized. And he had like decided that he was an alien and was sent here to earth. And they would apparently in their interactions, he would tell her all about this. And for some reason she was like eating it up. Yeah. That's a Joker and Harley Quinn. No, no, that's no. definitely the Joker and Harley Quinn. Yeah. Sure sounds that. like it. Yeah. And so, uh, so like she was eating it up and then um, they escaped. She es- he escaped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yep. That's, that's a joke in Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> and then they started, like, amassing these people. They wrote a couple of books. And they started just, like, in, in the 90s, amassing these people that would just follow them around. They did the whole thing of, like, everybody's out to yeah. get us. Then they killed Jason Todd. No! Yeah. Yeah. But, but he, they didn't, yeah. But, but they didn't actually kill him. Yeah, yeah he, no. he came back. He came back to life. <laughs> they disappeared at some point. Uh, if I remember right, they like abandoned their followers, disappeared, changed their names. Um, and like the story that their followers were fed somehow. Did he have scars on his face? No. (laughs) (laughs) Wear lots of white makeup. Yes. Yeah. The story, they like changed their names to their alien names. And, and and was she really, really hot? No. (laughs) Okay. Short shorts on the baseball Fine. bat. Fine. It was the Joker and Harley okay. Quinn. I was pretty sure that was it. Yeah. Um, so the next one. The so, group teaches no. or implies what? No, anyway. So uh, real, real quick, talking about the Joker. Um, I heard an interesting fan theory that the Joker is completely sane, but he realizes he's in a comic book, and if he's ever boring, he will be killed off in the comic book. So that he's not insane. He's just having to act crazy and entertaining to stay alive. He's just a good businessman. Exactly. Exactly. So anyway, the next one. Uh, the group has a polarized us versus them mentality, which may cause conflict with the wider, with the wider society, which we, we yeah. talked about that earlier. <clears throat> the leader is not accountable to any authorities. Unlike, for example, for example, teachers, military commanders, or ministers, priests, monks, and ra- and rabbis of mainstream religion and denominations. Which this one was odd to me. Because it says the leader is not accountable to any authorities. Um, and then it goes through and lists a bunch of things which seem to check a bunch of boxes here. Yeah, yeah. You know, does that make any... <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um... The group teaches or implies that it supposedly exalted 
sorry, excuse me. The group teaches or implies that its supposedly exalted ends justify whatever means it deems necessary. This may result in members participating in behaviors or activities that would have that they would have considered reprehensible or unethical before joining the group. For example, lying to family or friends or uh, collecting money uh, for bogus charities. So it, it would have been a reprehensible act, but it's for the it's for the greater good. Okay. You know, like sending children to die on a battlefield. Well, the children's crusade. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You guys can all fuck off. It was Heaven's Gate. Oh, I remember Heaven's yeah, Gate. Yeah, you remember Heaven's I Gate. Do. It wasn't the Joker and he, Harley Quinn. He so, so stole that idea from the Joker yeah. and Harley Quinn. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I really did lace this beer with arsenic. <laughs> the leadership includes... <laughs> <laughs> The, the leadership induces feelings of shame and or guilt in order to influence... And she drinks the beer. Yeah, I want to... I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done with life. <laughs> the leadership induces feelings of shame and or guilt in order to influence and or control members. Often this is done through peer pressure and subtle forms of persuasion. The last year of dark and suicide-related shows has all been leading up to this moment. <laughs> Remember when we put out good shows? <laughs> No. Those were great. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Those were great. I, I, I don't remember that, no. No, I never remember that. Uh, so, but but uh, uh, using uh, peer pressure on, to affect member behavior. That's what that's what all churches did. And yeah. drugs. That's what yeah. all churches that's, did. It's what, it's what that's every... What Sunday school and youth groups are. Yeah, it's what oh, every, yeah. you know, organization does, except... It's, it's, whatever, it's what every think organization does, except government. They shoot you. Um... They're not very thinky either, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean... Uh, sub- they use force instead, yeah. Yeah. Subservance to the leader or group requires members to cut ties with family and friends and radically alter the personal goals and achievements they, have, they had before joining the group. Only a few more of these. The group is pre- preoccupied with bringing in new members. The group is preoccupied with making money. Members are expected to devote inordinate amounts of time to the group and group-led activities. Members are encouraged or required to live and or socialize only with other group members. Maybe on a boat floating around. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. yeah. And lastly, most loyal members, the true believers, feel there can be no life outside the context of the group. They believe there is no other way to be and often fear reprisals to themselves or others if they leave or even consider leaving the group. My God, it's Scientology. Yeah. 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 So I, I want to, I'm going to, here's what I find interesting about that is, is any, most of those things in and of themselves are not necessarily bad. Right. Yeah. Any one of those. But when you start putting them together, you end up with with, with a way to control people on a on a vast vast scale, and and that's terrifying. Yeah, one one rope is just a rope. A bunch put together is a net. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Um, I watched a documentary one time about this one cult. I've watched a lot of documentaries. Yes, about this one cult. And eventually the guy decided he was tired of being a cult leader, and he tried to quit. And he had this one like this one fucking follower that was like, "Nah, you are." The, the fucking messiah, you're the deal, and I am never leaving your side. And just followed him for years after the rest of the cult, like, dissolved. Maybe I'm going to rethink my cult idea, because I don't like people that much. I know. Um, Maybe you know, he should have turned around and say, bless you, you're the new leader, bye. Yeah, right. I, I, I kind of want to throw something out here, because I've, I've got a little, a little bit of personal experience with this stuff. Uh, you know, I teach in this little bitty town, and we have the Church of Wells in this town oh, that right. actually made, uh, you know, inter- national headlines. Um, and, and it's, it's a little bitty group. They've uh, been accused of, of kidnapping, uh, you know, whether- lots of strange stuff. They, they, uh, the, the story behind, they were actually, uh, a couple of, of Baptist preachers that came, mm-hmm. came from, uh, uh, Dallas Baptist, Baptist university. And they were, I, I forgot where they were going, but their, their van broke down in Wells, this little bitty town. And they took that as a sign from God that that's where they're supposed to start the church. And they started this church and, and, and started going to colleges and recruiting people. And they bought a bunch of property, and, and these people are now living there. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's their elder, I think he's 26 now, he's very, but he's, he's, they, 
when he speaks, you you can watch them, and they all they all put their heads down and look at the ground instead of looking at him and listen to him. Uh, it's it's a little disturbing uh, that they were accused of of kidnapping. They had a girl that 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 uh, that had come to live can with I go them. To church with them one um, time. They uh, uh, the parents had sued. They now the state couldn't do it. They finally got the girl out, and uh, and she left and said she wanted to leave. She she escaped, went back to Oklahoma. And within just a few weeks, she was back at the church where they had sent people out to talk to her and convinced her to come back. Yeah. Um, they've had two kids die, two children die there because they won't won't seek medical care. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, so, you know, this is something that, 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 that happens even in small communities here in, in East Texas. You know? I almost think it's easier it's in everywhere. small communities because that isolation uh, is, uh, and it's less so in the modern age, but in years back, that isolation is already kind of primed. What's yeah. weird is that, that none <laughs> of the members of that church are from that community. Yeah. They're all imagine, from other places that come in. Imagine, we could have had a cult out in Natchez. And it would have taken years for anybody to know about it. I don't want to hang out with those people. people. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying of nature's people, but I'm yep. saying like it's it's remote enough. It's re- but you could that's just, just it. The fact that they're you know it surprised me when I first got there that that the people are all from other places. But yeah. the more I'm listening to this, that makes sense. Oh yeah, it's got to be because, because you're separating you're, them, so they're, yeah. they're they're away from their families. They're not there where there's any anything to, to interfere. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, I think this is probably a good time to talk about the beer. I, I think so. And then I'm when we come back, I want to go through and and go through a list of of, of um, cults. Some of these were a little surprising; they were considered cults. Uh, others, not so much. And then I want to talk about some institutions that aren't considered cults, and then just have us as a as yeah. a group. Are they cults? Yep. Yeah. So, All right, so can this, you take at least a couple of them, not tell us who the group is or whether or not it's listed as a cult, describe what it does, and then are you prepared for that? I, I'm not really prepared for it. I can try, I guess. Whatever. Okay. All right. So we're talking about the Freaky Deaky Belgian Triple from the Oak Highlands Brewery in Dallas, Texas. Yes. Who wants to start this discussion? Mike? I can. Not a problem. <laughs> not a problem. Um, Silence. I love the way it looks. I love the way it smells. I don't like the way it tastes. How's that for a good, good, good way to put that it? That is that a good 16. way to put um, it. I am not crazy about it. I think it's got a, um, it's, it's got a bitterness to it that's not an enjoyable bitterness. It's thin, which you know, I, I it, you know, it's a, it's a Belgian. I don't, I don't, you don't expect it to be real, real thick. I wouldn't, wouldn't think, but it's a, it's pretty thin for it. Um, I don't think it hits the mark. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go one seven. Yeah, so I, I really hate that this because I was ex- I was ready for this to be great. Um, whenever I opened it, I poured it. Um, like you said, had a great look, had a great smell. When I tasted it, it tasted almost industrial. It does. It, it tastes. It, it's got kind of that very yellow flavor, almost almost a little bit sour uh, that you get from like a, a, a Michelob or a Bud Light, you know. Um, which was which was kind of shocking to me because if if you know anything about the the Belgian style of beer, there's a, a single, a double, a triple, and a quad, and that is the amount of flavor in that beer. Yeah. So this is three out of four on flavor. That's that's what they're saying it's supposed yeah. to be anyway. However, uh, one thing is there is a bitterness in there, but that 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 very yellow sharp note on the front. Uh, your sense is dull to it over time. It's not a sweet sharp, though. No, no, no. But your sense is dull to it, and then you can actually taste the complexity underneath, mm-hmm. and it starts to taste like a triple. But it's like you got to weed through the, the, the grass to get to that. Yeah, you got to yeah. work at it. I'll say this. Yeah. If I was at a draft house, and I had said, hey, uh, let me taste that, that freaky deaky. God, that sounds weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I've, you've never said that before. Not those specific words, but um, if I had tasted it and just gotten that first taste, I would not have ordered it. Um, I have come to dislike it less as I've drunk more of it, but it's also like a 10% ABV, so that could have something to do with it. Yeah, and, and this is saying it's brewed with American hops, so I, I don't know, you know, kind of if that's more where they were like a mix between a triple and an IPA, I, I mean... Uh, it's it's not that hoppy. It's got forty six IBU, uh, but yeah. So you kind of get through that industrial upfront flavor, and then it's like you you, you taste that triple taste, but it's not at a strength level that you would expect from a triple. It's kind of like it turns into a single to me. 
like after you get through that industrial that, that industrial See, it, it tastes to me like the hops were added at the end of it just to just to just to shock you instead of something Maybe. that goes all the way through it and yeah. i don't know but it's just yeah i understand yeah so anyway all that said i'm not going to rate this one really high it, it's been an interesting experience but not the experience not I in expe- a good way not the experience i expected when i said it's a triple and at a 10 percent abv you know honestly i know abv doesn't mean it's a good beer but if you put in the work to brew it that 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 much, that, that takes a lot of work to get that ABV. I expect that you make it taste good. You know, you 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 do a complete job on it. And so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go a little higher than you. I'll I'll give it a two. And I feel like I'm I'm kind of stretching there a little bit, but I, I'll give it a two. Yeah, I, I really do think you are stretching. I'm giving it a one point six. Um, it's not a great flavor. Um. And it's almost as if the ABV is higher to compensate for the poor quality of the beer. Well, yeah. it doesn't taste great, but it'll get you fucked up, right? Um, and these days, that's not what I'm looking for in a beer. Yeah. I'm looking for a beer that I'll enjoy because if I want to get fucked up, I'll just go take a shot of some shit vodka or something. You know, I would I would like to see how old this brewery is, though, Kylan's uh, Brewery. I don't have we had anything from them before. No, we have not. I don't. Sound familiar if, to me at all. If it's a if it's a younger brewery, I mean, th- this all kind of makes sense to me. They're trying to you know figure themselves out, you know. Uh, but yeah, anyway, and that that that's all well and good. But you don't get a good rating for that, right? You know? um, but anyway, all that said, uh, I guess it's time to play the game. Anna, will this get you laid? No, uh, like, solidly no. What date? Um, I mean, I, I'm I'm being generous when I say this, but uh, a flight date. Uh, put this on a flight and you can compare it and contrast it against other triples. That's yeah. That's about. When you know she's not going to leave because of your choice in beer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, or break a beer, maybe. I don't know. It's yeah. not. It's not that bad though. It's not no. break a beer yeah. bad. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'll put it as a flight beer. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think that's a fair place to put yeah. it. Uh, lawnmower beer. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's 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 a, it's it's fine. Which is a bad thing to say about a triple. Yeah. It's fine for a lawnmower yeah. beer. It's not not great, but uh, you know, yeah. on a hot day, you could drink this and not die. Yeah, so. you'd be drunk uh, as long as that's not a lie about the ten percent. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> it, it honestly doesn't feel like a ten percent beer no, right, no, when you drink it. I've had considerably more than you have. I'm feeling it. Well, I'm, I'm not even talking about head spin. I'm talking oh, about okay. in the mouth. Like when you oh, okay. taste it, it doesn't. If, if you handed me that this beer true. and was like, "What's the ABV?" I'd say seven. Six? Yeah, yeah. Six, I'd have seven. gone lower, five, six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay, but uh, but anyway. So all that said, uh, I'm gonna go through some uh, um, through some list of groups. Uh, these are considered um, by uh, as these are considered to be cults in America. Okay. Uh, number one, Ku Klux Klan, which to me made perfect sense after I read it, but I never had thought about them as a cult. I, I thought them as a racist or I, like I, I thought of them as something different, like something bad, but like not. Yeah, yeah you think of them as a political organization Hate group. Yeah. yeah, and it's probably that religious thing that we talked about. They they keep getting defined as religious organizations, and though they they have you know they have the cross, and there's there seems to be now some. They do religious, consider themselves a Christian organization. Yeah, yeah, there seems to be some religious ties there, but that doesn't seem to be their main focus yeah the main focus is we hate everybody that's not a white anglo-saxon protestant male yeah um oh uh blaine just messaged in the the brewery was founded in 2015 so again oh, okay. that makes perfect sense super new um welcome to the club exactly you got some work to do but uh, i'm i'm hoping to see you grow yeah, um i'll try some more the watchtower society i'd never heard of these uh guys until i heard them as they're more known by name jehovah's witnesses okay yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the Church of Scientology. <laughs> They're a cult. Absolutely, Scientology. Yeah. Um, and if you're part of that particular cult, get the fuck out, or get on the magazine. There's a whole story there. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was good. The the People's Temple. Don't know that one. Uh, so the People's Temple is founded by Jim Jones. You may have heard oh, of him. Oh, I do know. I, yeah, he, yeah, uh, yeah, the Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't drink the Kool Aid. Yeah. Yep. Yep. She, Ooh. he's the inspiration for Anna poisoning this beer. Of course, yes. I am glad you poisoned this beer. I would uh, hate for you to poison a good one. You wouldn't want to enjoy the last beer you ever had in your life. I just, I'd hate to see it go to waste. You know. Maybe that's why it's bad because I the arsenic changed the, the arsenic flavor. Arsenic changed the flavor. Yeah, blame the arsenic. Uh, the Westboro <laughs> Baptist Church. Oh, they're fucking yes. terrible. Uh, Heaven's Gate. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um. 
Can you read that? The Raelian movement. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the that's the ones that thought the UFOs were coming. Yeah. yeah. So the, this this one of many. Yeah. This word has an A with two dots above it, and I don't know what sound that makes. It wasn't in my original twenty six. Huh. <laughs> so, um. Oh God. Yes. Yeah, it's just the word alien with an R in front of it. Um, shrinkio. I have no idea. Did I say that wrong? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so say it right. Um, shinrikyo. Um, shinrikyo? I don't know what that yeah, is. I have no I idea. Either. If you... Okay, I, so <laughs> I am no longer reading cults because I have... Yes, you are. <laughs> I have no thing. Uh, um, shinrikyo, uh, also known as a left... Oh, oh, what is a left? There we go. Yeah. Uh, was founded. Uh, was founded. Uh, a destructive cult, uh, most noted for uh, releasing uh, sarin gas into oh, a Japanese yes, subway yes, system. Yes, I remember these yeah. idiots. Uh, yeah, they were uh, millennialists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Send me that link when we're done here. By the way, it's in the show doc. Oh, right down. Cool. Um, the yearning for Zion Ranch. Uh huh. Oh, these are incidents. Okay, uh, and oh, the future of cults. Anyway, so those those are a list of a few cults. Um, Ku Klux Klan. I didn't. That, that was kind of a, a shocking one to me, but it yeah, made sense. I think it's I, I think it's pushing the yeah. envelope a little bit with what a cult is, but uh, but yeah, I think it meets the definition at, at least broadly. Yeah, yeah, because one of the things that seems to be uh, indicative of a cult is their isolationism within themselves, and that they tend. Although I think Scientology is a notable uh, break from this norm, but they tend not to try to influence government um, to change their beliefs. I think that probably stems from a fear of the government shutting them down. Well, Scientology, we've seen some some divergence from that norm. That's that's exactly why yeah. I, why okay. I said that. Yeah. Um, and then. So I think that's probably why it makes it more difficult to consider the Ku Klux Klan a cult. Well, that and they just, they don't have a, a they don't seem to have a messiah. Right. You know, uh, And they uh, don't really seem, yeah, as far as I know. Jesus. Well, but well, but then, then you'd have to say that that, that that Christianity is the cult and they're just part of it. I think, well, well, think I don't that think, there's something else. I don't necessarily think so. Um, if, if we say Christianity is a cult, is Baptist <laughs> a different cult than, you know, Methodist or whatever? Yeah, I think so. But I, I think, I mean, we, we ran through that checklist of, of cult stuff, yeah. right? Um, and so I think that you can have a cult in which, um, in which you are worshiping a, an accepted religious figure. Um, the, use the extreme versions of Mormonism as an example well, there. Yeah, but, but again, I think that, that, that the issue is there. I have no problem with saying that Christianity is a cult. But I kind of have a problem saying that that the KKK is a cult because it's it's not it, it's it's narrower than that. Yeah. It, it you know uh, so I, you know I I kind of. Well, and and then do we have to look at all hate groups? I mean, what makes the KKK so s- different from uh, uh, white supremacists or or woodpeckers or the e- segregation any, part? Of yeah, that, uh, yeah, or yeah. or uh, the the, yeah, the Black Panthers. The you know, yeah. I I really do yeah. think that the key is um, that. Are you able to associate with people outside of? I think your there group? has to be a degree of brainwashing in there that, that, that you know, and, seg- and segregation. So, uh, you know, which I, again I think probably makes the KKK a weaker case for yeah. a cult. Yeah, I do. Uh, I want to talk about a few things uh, that that are pretty common. I'm going to build up to a few things here, so I'm going to start kind of small. Sports teams or sports fandom. Uh, I think it, it definitely has some it's aspects cultish. of it. It's, it's cult. Yeah. I, I, I think I would call it cultish, but not yeah. call it a cult. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, we we've taught we we kind of danced around this, uh, but uh, you know I kind of want to ask in more explicit terms: uh, modern religions. Yes. Sure. sure okay. Sure. Um, generally, generally. Now, Which now, ones don't you think are cult, and why aren't they well, cult? I, 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 I think I think you can have a case where it can be practiced in a cult like manner and not. Yeah. Okay. For instance, I think that that I think Christianity, Judaism, Islam, they can all be very very cultish, and and want to sh- want to shut you off. But they can also not be cultish because they that they can they can want you to reach out to other other people and and live peacefully with them. There's a difference there to me. Yeah. Well, and 
Uh, so one of the things in that checklist was about um, punishments for deviating from the yeah. norms. And I think one of the things that, and one of the reasons that these religions have been more successful in recruiting new members um, is that they're not using the same kind of what we perceive to be extreme punishments. <sighs> it's crazy to me. Uh, they're not using extreme punishments like some of these smaller, crazy, what we think are crazier cults are doing. Um, instead, they're threatening you with this abstract idea of your eternal damnation, which is unbelievable to me that if you genuinely believe that you can be eternally damned, that we're not recognizing that as being a really crazy threat. But but it, again, I think you need that 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 aspect of segregation. To and isolation, a lot, of these, right, and a yeah. lot of these don't try an isolation. In fact, they want you to go out. Yeah. Well, so do the other cults. They they want to recruit Sometimes new members. they do. Yeah, a lot of but, them do. But a lot of them only want certain people to go out. Yeah. We don't want... They're more like mystery cults where, okay, you don't know everything until you well, get to this level and then you can go out. That's exactly what you see a lot of times in things like Christianity is you don't want your members who are weaker in the word um, to be exposing themselves to what are considered to be the darkest parts of society because they're not strong enough in their faith and they may actually end up being pulled away from the church than isolated into the church. The people that you send out into those parts of society are the ones who are strong enough to convert and bring in. Well, how about the, uh, the Amish? Right. Where at, oh, yeah. a, at a certain age, uh, was it 16, 18, I've forgotten. I don't remember. You're sent off into the world to experience, and, yeah. and you're supposed to go and experience all this, and then you have to make the choice to come back. Yeah, after that's, all of those years of indoctr indoctrination. That's an interesting way to look. That's the it exact is. opposite of, of, yeah. of, of the cult idea. Yeah. But I think that's because in a lot of, uh, for the case of most members in a lot of the cults that we're kind of looking at here, you don't start your life in that cult. But I think that's partially because it's so short-lived, usually. Um, there's, even in Scientology... Lived. Do what? Lived. Lived? Yeah, short-lived. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Freemasons. Um, yeah. Yes. I think there's cultish aspects of it. I don't think that... I, I, the, the reason that I, that I have a hard time saying yes is because I, have, I don't see how you can be a member of one cult while practicing another religion. So, and, and you know, mm. the, the, the Freemasons require that you believe in, in, in a higher power, but they don't say that you have to believe in this higher power. So, I, I, don't, I don't think it meets it. So, let me ask, we actually did a show recently okay. where uh, you talked about somebody being two religions. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the fact that a religion would allow two religions makes them not a cult, even at the time when they were considered a cult, yeah, I, explicitly. But, 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 but again, it doesn't does meet that definition of you have to recognize, you know, I've forgotten what, what you put it, but you've got to recognize something as this all-encompassing power. And it, it, you don't have that there. Okay. Um, so, well, I don't know, because you, you have to recognize something but they don't all recognize the same thing, which, right. which take, makes it very difficult for me to put it in the cult level. Well, and, you know, I would ask, is <laughs> is their religion, as the, the, the classical term of religion, is their religion the high chief, or is it the leadership within their, their you know... Their ranks. Their ranks. I, I don't actually know too much about I the, think there's cultish aspects yeah. to it. I don't okay. think it's a cult. Okay. Fair enough. I think it could be, and it has been practiced that way at times. They're a little culty. They're a little culty. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to talk about one. I want to scrutinize this one just a little bit more than we've been scrutinized others, because this is one that's, that's very personal to me. One of my favorite lines in my party's platform, uh, national, <laughs> yeah. is... Uh, we oppose the cult, the cult of, of the, the omnipotent, omnipotent government. government. Yeah. So is there? Is, is, is that a thing? Ingrained. Is <laughs> yeah. that a thing? Yeah. You know? I, I, I think that there <laughs> is. I think there is a cult of, of statism. Uh, I, oh yeah. I, I think if, if if you recognize the state as the bringer and giver of everything, then yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are people who get like scary aggressive when you. Challenge take their shit? the well, <laughs> no. Well, I mean, yes, but those aren't the ones I'm talking about. But there are people who get like really aggressive whenever you challenge their idea of the uh, 
the rightful authority of the state. People yeah. who cry whenever Obama gives a speech. Yeah. People who claim uh, extreme duress when their candidate loses. Yeah. Uh, people who show up to rallies and often chant. Chants. Now, I have to ask, is your love of a candidate part of the cult of the omnipotent government should it exist or is it the the or is that a subcult and that there's something bigger that is the cult of the omnipotent government uh just the 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 indoctrination that we may get in school of of right and wrong and how laws are the 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 basis of right and wrong uh the way we look up to washington the great yeah. figure who who started this, the this papa. Or, yeah, yeah exactly so i think this actually challenges the idea that you can't operate in multiple cults at once um but i think part of that is because the cult of statism is so pervasive um, because I think well, you can be, um, I, think, I think you can subscribe to the cult of statism and be, well, cultish maybe, I guess, in your um, subscription to a candidate. Here's what I think is weird is, is, and I can't explain why, because I'm willing to accept that statism is a cult, but I'm not willing to accept that it's a religion. This silence is great. It's yeah, just, I don't know. It's, 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 it, there's something different there to me. I, I don't know why. Why? Why those? It doesn't two... have to be a religion. We already talked well, about. Yeah, it. I, I yeah. am. But 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 I mean that that's 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 why when you when you brought up that that you could believe belong to more than one cult, I think you could in that case because you could be in a religion and you know uh, you could worship Jesus as your savior as your religion and that be a cult, and you could worship the state as your savior and have so that the be your cult, could be but a that's cult. not a religion. Yeah, I think well, maybe so. And, okay. and so there's something really interesting. Um, one maybe of the things that I struggle yeah. with in, in saying that this is a thing is one of the biggest characteristics is isolation. And they don't seem to isolate their members, except there are so many people, like who would you isolate them from? Maybe you could isolate them from Kim Jong-un. And his, his I don't teachings. know. I think they do try maybe and isolate. Maybe you built a fucking wall. Well, maybe. Or, or you, maybe you regulate their travel in and out of the country. Uh, well, but you don't have to do that. You can do, you, you, we don't even have to go to physical walls. You can sit there and go, uh, if, fake news, don't turn on CNN. Mm-hmm. They're, not, they're lying to you. Uh, Facebook, don't believe this. Somebody listen could to, be passing out anti-war this. pamphlets and you throw them in jail. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you can listen to Glenn Beck. Don't listen to this. Yeah. You know, you but is that a, a, is that a cult of the state or is that a cult of the particular party? Which, uh, I think it's an no. ideo- ideological cult. Yeah. Okay. But, but they, they're not. They're they're. If the, if your idea is for your ideology to become the state, then it's still the well, cult of the state. Well, and you develop this idea of what it means to be an American or what it means to be British, and it's a it's a fantastic. Um, level of control that is uh, is exerted here that you get your people to isolate themselves to identify themselves as other from everybody else by creating this image of what it means to be an American now yeah I need to be intellectually honest on this show we have we have completely smeared Republicans Democrats the state yeah. religion is the libertarian party a cult. Well, I haven't said that the parties are cults. Oh, I thought I, I called I them have. cultish. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, I called them but, cultish. Okay, but yeah. I do think that the Libertarian Party is cultish. I think every party is cultish. Yeah, by, by definition, I think you have to because you're you're creating an echo chamber. You're recognizing yeah. something as an yeah. ideal. That's we have I our chance. So taxation hard. is staffed. Yeah. I mean, well, that's know. why I rage so hard whenever people hero worship some of our fucking I candidates. I know. I know. Just uh, get well, you know, over yourselves. I'm a marine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't even touch We have our uniforms that we wear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We stand when certain songs are played. We refer to people. You with, with fight other handshakes. branches of the military over who's better. <laughs> they can't really call it a fight. We just kick their ass. But uh, oh. uh, so <laughs> I fully accept that I'm a member of that cult. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Is it always bad? I don't know. To I don't, be in a cult? No, I don't. I, no. I don't necessarily think it is. I don't necessarily think it is. Uh, I think it's a way of organizing people. I think think it can be dangerous. I think the ones that we hear about the most are the ones where it goes bad. You know, I I, I think to some degree that it must be bad to be in a cult. 
because I think the purpose of a cult is to get people, a lot of people, uniform on an idea, on, on, on the same page. And the way that we do it, and I've used this term many times. I've heard it. I've heard it used other places. It's not my original term, but the soggy seventy, right? Mm, yeah. That seventy percent of people who are just going to meander into whatever idea, and I think it is a net to catch those soggy seventy to get them behind your belief. Now, I don't think it's bad for the leaders and what I'll say, the true believers, the people who are building this net to catch the soggy seventy. But doesn't it have to be somewhat manipulative to the soggy seventy in in the way that they're caught now. It's necessary. I mean, you, well, you, you can't win a battle without your 70. Yeah. Same argument I've given before. Is if you're a true believer in something, religion, you believe, let's say Christianity, you believe without a doubt that the only way to reach paradise is through, through, through Jesus. Mm -hmm. you, just, you have no doubt. That's, that, that's just a fact to you. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be the loving, caring thing to do to force other people to have that have have that religion as much as you could, so they could experience that as well. No, because I think the state, authentic experience doesn't happen through force. I think the state does is that same same place where, you know, if you believe that your nation and your your system of government is is the best system of government and that people will people are are better off because of it, aren't you required to try and bring that better life to everybody? I understand the logic behind it. I get it. There's a big difference, I think, in bringing something to somebody and... Putting a gun to their okay, head and making... You, yeah, can take I, a you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink because then you just drown your horse. I, well, I, I agree. And, and, and maybe using the word force is wrong, but... but Shouldn't your shouldn't your responsibility to be to to, to, to grow go out your, and, and yes. spread that that belief? Yes, you know, and and I don't know if that's bad. Right. If you do it yeah. at gunpoint, it's bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's where I think I, I think there's actually something fantastic about cults mm -hmm. um, is that the people who um, find themselves in cults. I think for the most part, I'm not going to say exclusively, but I think for the most part, you can use the fact that they were susceptible to the promises and the manipulation of the cult leader, that there are um, emotional, psychological um, issues going on that they need help with. Um, cults a lot of they target people who feel like their lives are incomplete. They target people who feel like the world has beaten them down. They target people who have unbelievably low self-esteem and just desperately want to feel better about themselves. And I think that um, we can use what we can learn about cults to help identify how it is that we can better help those people. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Anything else to add on this? I, 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 this this one has been really interesting to me because I have I've I've gone through this really shocking roller coaster of like I'm starting off culture bad, then I go a few steps. Oh my God! These institutions that I think are terrible are cults, so that makes them even worse. Then I go a step further. Oh my God! These institutions I think Shit. are great are I'm cults. in a cult. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in a cult. Everything's a cult. <laughs> are cults bad? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Tune in next time to find out. Yeah, so. A uh, little piece of information for our listeners who maybe want to go check this out. The checklist that we got was from the International Cultic Studies Association. Yeah, and, and um, the PhD lady was, I don't remember. Whatever. Um, but super cool website, lots of fun information. I want to, like, work with them. I think that would be fascinating. You could be a you subject. Enough, you have enough jobs. No. I want to learn. I want to do cults. We don't have time to do I anything else. I want to do cults. That's what I want to do. Yeah. It, all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Not like Just that. Just joy in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Is there anything else to, I think to cover this? I no. think we're good. Anna, let's I think let's just up. close this out. All right. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the show. You can check out more from Six Pack Philosophy at sixpackphilosophy.com. You can also find us on social media where uh, we do things and talk to people. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> we do things and talk to people. Uh, uh, just like real podcasty people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you want some super cool swag, you can hit up... Mike's going to die. He's not going to be with it's us the next arsenic. week. <laughs> yeah, finally. Uh, um, if you want some super cool swag, I almost said I was going to put some arsenic on our store. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> Um, you can go to teespring.com slash stores slash six pack philosophy and you can become a patron if you want to support the show and make sure we can continue to bring fantastic content to you of course it might be go buy cool shit it might be kind of pointless to become a patron because we're all about to be dead from the arsenic that I poisoned us with anyway thank you guys so much for tuning in we've enjoyed it and we hope you have too cheers 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 Six Pack Philosophy is supported by independent philosophers just like you. If you would like to support us, go to sixpackphilosophy.com and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 